uh, pad it up a bit and use some duct tape. Also, uh, most of the time these seals and the doors aren't great. So um, this one is, a, I mean, this one I lucked out that this door is okay, but this will rattle. So if this is not in place properly and the seals aren't good, everything rattles. Um, before you're driving, make sure your, your uh, emergency exit window handles are pressed down. Um, if you don't, those will rattle. There's four in this bus. Um, there, 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 and there, which is nice. You can pop them open and vent out. Um, rear AC emergency door. Uh, most emergency doors also have a lock. So you see a lock right there. Y you can't start the bus um, with that lock. So um, if you do, it's gonna, you're going to have an alarm. And you're going to be like, what's that alarm? Um, really poor design. It's the same design as the ambulances on this, and it's just a poor design for locking a rear door. Um, and these rust out like this one. I could barely, barely move it. Oh, I can't move it again. So, I mean, yeah, I mean it's it's tight. Some old lady's not going to be able to get out of here, and I mean she'd have to jump four feet down to the ground, but um, she's not making it out of here. <laughs> Stuck on the bus. Anyway, um, you you have to unlatch that. Uh, so that you can drive the thing, but then when you unlatch it Most of these, you know, they they really really rattle so you have to beef up some of the, the stuff right there So that when it comes down it holds the door shut better, you know easy to do with that last uh, down there um, So that it doesn't rattle I, I Have my own opinions on all that stuff. Anyway, if you're converting these to an RV um Lots of, uh, lots of stuff you can do. The windows are probably a, a big draw. Also the interior height, something they don't tell you. Most of these buses have a 79 inch height. So I am, hello, I'm 6'3", right? So here's a hat, so I got all that. So 79 inches, wearing shoes, and um, one foot from the, they'll give you a one foot from the edge measurement, which is about 75 inches usually. And then a center height measurement, if you go look up all the specs, 79 inches. So plenty of room in the top. Even if you add an inch of uh, insulation and padding on the floor, you know, most of us normal height people, 6'3", 6'5", still can walk around. Don't put any uh, height, um, lights in the middle of the ceiling. You'll be all right. Uh, these are, nobody's escaping through these, right? So you can unlatch it and push up. And then nobody, if it hasn't been used and tested, you can't get it the last bit. These will pop up, right? Um, so you can vent real easy. That's nice, but getting out of it, good luck. Um, maybe if it's on its side, <laughs> a terrible thought, but maybe if it's on its side, you can kick it out um, and then jump out. Um, don't do it while the bus is still rolling. Um, wait till it stops rolling and then decide where you want to escape the bus. Um, <laughs> You, you never know. Be prepared. Be prepared, people. Um, anyway, uh, a lot of the buses have these fold-up seats, which are convenient. It's the buses that will have a lift. If you don't have a lift, you probably don't have fold-up seats because these are only there so that you can uh, use the e-track to, um, uh, to tie down the wheelchair. So uh, you, you probably won't have any of those in some buses, but most buses, um, shuttle buses and stuff, have a lift. Um, and then the rest of the seats, no, they don't fold up, they don't move, they're not going to spend this type of money, um, which is fairly expensive for those, um, for, you know, a, a $250 seat set. Uh, they're probably like an extra 150 bucks, I think. So um, I don't know what they are new. Um, they're probably some price you would say, oh, that's stupid. So... But the mechanism is awesome. So on these, all you do is you can push down on that, right? And then this comes down and then raise up the seat, right? So that's all locked in place now, seating for two. Um, you know, they're not beautiful seats, um, but they're, you know, comfy enough to ride in. I mean, they're, they're fairly comfy. Um, so maybe just an enhancement. Uh, on the seats and then you pull up on this lever down here push down on the seat a little bit and pull up there you go um, so maybe just an enhancement of that uh, seat somehow um, but the mechanisms are awesome um, and they move out of the way so uh, lots you can do but uh, here almost I think it's every state in the United States um, you can't 
drive a commercial bus with more than 15 passengers. So, I mean, you're, you're doing the math right now, you're counting these and you're like, well, look at that, there's uh, a seven times four, that's 14. 14 plus the driver, that's 15. So you can't have any of these. Yeah, um, if you're not driving commercially and you're not using the seats, um, it's open to interpretation. Um, but nobody's probably getting a ticket for uh, driving these as an RV, but still registered as a commercial bus. Um, even if you leave all the seats in, I'm not leaving the seats in. I'm taking those out. This is going to be like dirt bike and RV bus uh, somehow. Anyway, um, well, I don't know what's in here. Um, I don't have the keys on me. I haven't opened that up. So, something. It's a compartment. Could be a box of cash. Don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, what else can I tell you about this? I probably bored everything for you. You got some of these. You got like, um, those are usually where you put your tie downs for the wheelchairs. Um, uh, good luck finding enough info on Max 4 7 engines, but. Um, you know, if you're going to get one, just go ahead and do the same thing you should be doing on your 6.4s and 6.0s and 6.7 with a coolant bypass uh, filter, like a sinister diesel one, and a uh, oil bypass filter, which is just, those pretty much give you, the, or the oil bypass will give you a new cap for the um, uh, filter, the oil filter, and then all the oil that goes back uh, past it, it just... Um, it just filters it out. It's just much better for the engine. You could go further on oil changes. Um, I don't. I mean, 5,000 miles on these engines. Um, I mean, unless you're doing something super special, uh, just driving down the highway, maybe you're getting 10,000, uh, but I wouldn't. 5,000 mile oil changes is still, um, yeah, that's about as much as I much as I'd go with uh, T6 too. Um, Rotella T6 is all I use, and then I also use Arc Oil uh, in the oil. Um, and this one I'm going to run Sinister uh, Extreme Clean in the fuel instead of the Arc Oil in the fuel. Um, but it's only because of the regen. That's it. Um, I, in the F250, I run Arc Oil in the oil and the fuel. It's like there's a different one for each. Um, but this one, no, and then I was thinking about getting new steer tires. These are from 2016. They're okay. Um, I just think uh, for steer tires, I want uh, some really good ones. So we'll have to figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, part of this video is just for me, so I remember what I was doing today. Um, and then uh, part of it is just so if you are interested in um, a uh, an International 3200 shuttle bus, kind of what to what to expect when you're looking at it. Um, just do your research on everything. I mean, you know, if you can go drive a bus before, uh, drive it to make sure your bushings aren't shot and stuff. This one needs some bushings. It's no big deal. You hear clanging and stuff. As long as it's not shaking all over the road, you know, it's pretty easy to fix or to work on. Um, this right here, I'm removing this. This is just so you, nobody, when you're stopped, nobody's right in front of the bus, you don't smash them. Uh, since the bus is a 23.5 uh, GBWR, um, I don't know what it really is empty. Um, it's empty right now. I should take it up to the scales at some point and weigh it. Um, but I really don't know what just the empty weight is. Like the curb weight, you know, with all the fuel and fluids. Um, don't know. But I will weigh those seats when I pull them out and see what I what, uh, have less. I want to pull this trailer to 8.5 by 14 V-Nos. Um, and I, when I put my camping stuff in there, it weighs 4,000 pounds. It was 2,800 uh, empty from the factory. Um, so I have 1,200 pounds of stuff that goes in it, which is pretty light. Um, you're not taxing any part of this by throwing 4,000 pounds of tandem axle trailer behind it. Anyway, I hope everybody has a good day. And um, I'm sure as soon as I turn the video off, I'll remember the 10 things I was going to tell you. <laughs> but I don't, so later.